Ringside Side Eyes with Jimmy Vibes. Just want to talk about saying bush. We've set up. No, you're in the river, bitch. Good stuff. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I'm here, but I'm not alone. I brought one of my good friends, Nick. What's up, Nick? Hi, everybody. I'm doing good. I was just I was just telling James, it's just been crazy this time of year around Christmas. Just like getting everything together and making sure you're on point. Get all that Christmas shopping, but also enjoy the season too, right? So. I don't know. I'm not crazy about Christmas. I love Christmas. It's always been like a big thing in my family, especially yeah. with my mom. So, and now that my parents are divorced, it's even like more important with my mom. So I always try to like make the best for her and do everything that I can. Yeah, I just I just put a big smile on my face and I act like I love it because I have nieces and nephews who are fucking expensive. And oh my girl, this is the first year I've had a niece, and holy Hannah. <laughs> kid, I'm telling you, the kids will drain I you. Spent, I fucking spent, like, uh, almost 100 bucks on this girl. <laughs> She's a baby. And all my friends were like, James, why do you stress us so bad? Why don't you just get them something small? But the thing is, I like to get them exactly what they ask for. You know what I mean? Cause well, your nieces and nephews are, like, those like, are like around my... the age of, like, four or five. No, like, okay, my niece is 11. Oh, and, shit, okay. Yeah, she's a grown girl. And then I have a nephew who's 13. And then I have another nephew who's 9. And then uh, the youngest is 5. Oh, so, okay. oh, so you're into the preteen and adolescent area, I'm into so. the video games, in between the video games and, like, name brand sneakers to iPods and, girl. And I, I gotta go get my, the baby, my little one, the five-year-old Jay. I gotta go get him the Imaginex. Actually, I have one here. It's right here. I put it on this table. Let me see what the name of this thing is, because I wonder if the listeners know what it is. Because I know that I notice that some listeners they collect like action figures and stuff. Like you know, Josh does it. Yeah, um, Josh is crazy with it. If you guys haven't like followed him on Instagram, it's so it's so interesting. I find that so fascinating with Josh. Are you kidding so... me? My nieces and nephews watch videos, hours of videos of people looking at toys and unpackaging shit. And Josh no, has girl, all girl, this girl. stuff. No, no, I'm totally here for it. Yeah. I, for working with Josh and just like, like appearance wise, he's just like just this big jacked military guy. But now the bitch fucking love is Sailor Moon, and I do too. I collect my Pop Funkos of them. Yes, Nick, you're another one. I'm another Pop Funko collector. I've always been a little collector since I was a kid, like with Pokemon cards and shit. So um, it's been kind of nice, but I went a little crazy now. So I have a lot, but I have like all the wrestling ones and like Batman ones and shit. Yeah, because uh, look, I got I got the Imagine Next Batman Gotham City. Build a tower. It's like a Gotham City tower. So cool. I'm like, this is actually a pretty neat toy. And I was like, I wonder if it's. You're like, bitch, I might keep this one. Up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, like, I, when he asked me for, it, I was like, what the fuck is that? And I go, it was only forty dollars, and I was like, wow, okay, yes. Well, Cute. You know what? You guys in the states, like, you guys don't realize the privilege you guys have because your stuff over there. Like, I've gone to the states a couple times for shopping around Christmas time, mm-hmm. and your prices are so much cheaper compared to. Here. Like, oh really? For for everything, like from food to toys to clothing, it's just like from ten to fifteen dollars cheaper sometimes. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but you guys don't pay for health insurance. No, we don't. Oh, uh, so there you go, bitch. So we love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just get fucking taxed up the I asshole. just, I just have to put this bitch. <laughs> I just have to usher this bitch to her seat real quick. Because I was like, you're not going to sit here and tell us that you guys have all this luxury. Because, bitch, let me tell you that the health bill is a mess over here. It's a mess. But let's 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 talk about what's not a mess, which has been the women's division in WWE. Because I'm actually getting my life. And overall, when I look at everything as a picture from afar, across the street... I think it's a cute ass house. You know what I mean? It might have its little cracks of maybe a door missing or a window with fucked up or whatever, but you know, it's still a cute house. So I don't know. Overall, Nick, how do you feel? Um, I'm I'm not gagging over it right now. I feel like yeah. the story the storytelling is a little stagnant right now. Like it's always kind of weird around this time of the year because they just kind of like give up from December until, and then they're, like, planning for the road to WrestleMania, so, um, but it, it has been interesting, I will say that, I like the new 
fresh faces added into the roster. And it's just, it's different, and that's what fans have been crying out for. They always yeah. do, regardless. But it's it's been it's been nice, and it's just been kind of fresh to see all these new girls. I just feel like they don't have a sense of direction. Like, they don't know no. where it's leading to. And I think it's pretty well, we'll obvious. We'll get into that later. Yeah. The perfect example is from SmackDown, so... Okay, well, let's jump into it. Let's uh, let's uh, t- let's start with Raw, real quick. Yes. And I want to talk about that odd little pairing that popped up on Monday Night Raw, <laughs> where Enzo was addressing the cute squad. That's what I like to call them because the Cruiserweight Babes. What do you call them? The Cruiser Babes. Uh, yeah, the Cruiser Babes. <laughs> yes, I. Well, Tony Nese to me is the captain of that ship. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Tony Nese is the captain, followed by Noam. Yeah. Uh, TJ was in there, and then Cedric was in there. Where is uh, TJ? Um, who knows? Is he her? Oh, playing video games or arguing with teenagers online. I know. He does that a lot. <laughs> He's so petty with it. I'm like, boo, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Enzo was over there just screaming and yelling on the top of his lungs. And then the camera pans out, and Naya's staring at him. And then she asks him how he's doing. It was just... I don't know. I I was first a little impression, James. Yeah. First impression when you see her come in, what was your thought? My first thought was <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was lost for words. Like I literally that was my reaction watching it. I was like, um I was confused. I was very confused. I had a million thoughts at once. I was just like, this is the wrong direction for Naya. Right. This could be great for Naya. This right. this looks like I'll enjoy it. Oh, but Vince is doing it. You know, like, it was just, I had mixed emotions about it. I'll say that. Yeah. What about you? Definitely. Well, when I first seen her, I did not expect her coming up there and just smiling yeah. and giving him the little how you doing type thing. Um, so it was interesting, and I do agree with you. Like, we talked about this months ago. Like, the direction with Nia, the bitch should be champion at this point. Mm-hmm. And should be going and should be going into WrestleMania and then facing Asuka. And that's that. how I feel. But that's not the case. So... <laughs> but... <laughs> and with everything happening with, like, the rest of the girls' page back... Um, Naya was kind of like lost in the shuffle with that women's division. So I'm not too mad to see her actually in a men's storyline because I bitch about this all the time. Yeah. I was saying that about Be- I was saying that about Becky Lynch when Summer was there. I was I was trying to pair her with every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the locker room just to get her on TV, you know? So it's nice to see a woman in a storyline like that. And I grew up with Santino and Beth Phoenix, that kind of dynamic. And I really enjoyed that. They worked very well off each other. And so I'm, I hate Enzo personally. I think he's a fucking little toad. But um, <laughs> charisma wise, it may, it may work off TV and it gives Nia an opportunity to show some personality, to work on her mic skills and to kind of show a different layer to her while they're yeah. working on the rest of Vision. So I'm not mad unless they really fuck it up and make her look like a joke, um, which uh, I don't think will be the case because I know Vince really likes Naya, and with the the back the backing of like The Rock and everything like that, I don't think they're dumb enough to just kind of put her in a throwaway role. So you I know, see good potential. And oh, I just want to say one more thing. I see, I see that. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I just got a message from my boss. I see that she will be incorporated into the cruiserweight division in a sense. And I don't know. We may even see her toss around a couple of those cruiserweights. I think that would be kind of fun. I think having... <laughs> you know, having... I, I think I could like this. Yeah. Because Eddie and China worked. You know what I mean? You, and... Oh, my God. Do you do you remember that... Uh, I forget what it's called. Is that Eddie Murphy movie? When he's on the playground and the girl comes over and she's like, you've got a girlfriend. And he's like, no. And he's like, well, you're my boyfriend well you got one now and like pick them up and like break yeah them. that's rash fuchsia yeah i would kind of i would love to see that kind of dynamic like Enzo, <laughs> Enzo's kind of a break i i could people. see him like hiding behind naya having a female like defend him like mm-hmm. i kind of like what china did with eddie guerrero if they go in that direction. They did it with santino and beth phoenix but i think that's where my little like doubts come in because i didn't like beth phoenix with santino at 
Oh, yeah. wow. No, it might be unpopular. It got interesting when they introduced Rosa Mendez into the mix, but other other than that, I I didn't I didn't like it. I I I felt like Beth Phoenix was destined for more than placed in a comedy act, but I felt like she stayed in that role too long, and I just hope they don't do that with Naya. I think that's where I just gotta play the devil's advocate because it could no no, no I agree it could go right. And then again, on the other side, like you just explained like how well it can go. And I totally agree with you, but there's that other side where it could just get really stale, really dry and lead Naya to being really unhappy. So and to just make it make her kind of look like a joke. And yeah. that's the main thing. We do not want to see our girl look, especially with her, with her dynamic. She's, she should be one of the top monster heels in that division. And so I do like seeing an, a little different character development underneath it because we know Naya is a fun girl in real life and kind of yeah, sassy. She has a personality. So, yeah, so hopefully that will translate more into this kind of character. And I, I, I have high hopes for it, so we'll see. Yeah, I think it could be good. I think it can be good. It just like Enzo is really good no matter how much people hate him and exactly. blah blah blah. He's very good on the mic. He's good at what he does is be a character. That's his strong point. In WWE realized that and that's how they book him. Enzo's a character before he's and a wrestler. He is super over with that crowd. So to have Nia be paired with him has more eyes on her in a, mm-hmm. in a speaking role or in this different kind of role. So people already know of Nia Jackson. Rob, but they're really going to be like, oh yeah, that Naya. Like, they're she's gonna be a household name after this. I feel she's gonna, she's gonna. I, you know, it's up to Naya. It's really mm-hmm. up to Naya, and we're gonna talk about that later on when we talk a little bit about Total Divas because <laughs> <laughs> that was a good ass episode. I'll tell you that. Much. Uh, I lived for that. Though. I know, but you know, we can move on from that. Um, later, we had Absolution and um, Sasha. Um, what happened again, Nick? Run, run this. So, again. so it was Sasha Banks versus Paige. Oh and yes, it was, Paige, it was Paige's first like return match in over Ooh. a year, and so Paige comes down with um Sonia and Mandy Deville looking like a GTA character walking down the ramp. <laughs> I could not. Like, Mandy. Like, uh, oh my God. Well, we'll we'll talk about. We'll her. get it. We yeah. will get into her after. Um. But yeah, so it was. So they came down, and then Sasha came out, and because it's boss time for Michael Cole. I hate oh, that. Can I just say I that? I fucking hate that. I get I cringe. Every yeah, time. for what? And, and and then Bailey and Mickey James come out, and they're like, yeah, because they got attacked last week. Mm-hmm. So it was actually a pretty good match. They I love the match. They had, like, they had like a two segment matchup, so it was really nice. It was good to see Paige back. Didn't really see too much ring rust, to be honest. Um, oh no! And it was just watching her in the ring. It just kind of had like a moment of being like, "Damn!" Like this girl went through fucking hell and back, and now and she's back and just killing it. Still back into it. You know what? You know we're what? We're just I gonna s- be moving on now. You know. I seen from um, social media somebody posted um, something about Sasha had her debut match on NXT with Paige, and then um, Sasha had her debut one on one match on Monday Night Raw with Paige. And then Paige had a return um, match, her re-debut with Sasha Banks. So I was like, oh, that that's pretty interesting. Full circle. I thought and that was cute. Together. Oh, I, my I God. I remember that match. Sasha's that match was baby. dope. And you know what? Like, I, I saw, like, Paige is getting a lot of attention from this match. But Sasha deserves a props, too. Because Sasha is a fucking damn good wrestler. That match was yeah. everything. Sasha can sell her ass off. She's a student of the fucking game. And um, she, she's watched this thing her whole life. And she, she studied the damn thing. Like, I listened to her interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it was really good. I didn't finish it yet. I had, I listened to the first 25 minutes of it. But it was really good. And she talked about how she would study the game and blah, blah, blah. And just watch wrestling. And I see it in her match, especially with her and Paige. They work so well together. Super well together. I love that. I, I, I want a feud between the two of them with a championship soon. I do, too. I think it would be really good. And I want Paige as a babyface, obviously, because I feel like Paige works best as a babyface. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but Paige is so loved, and Sasha can become such a really good heel, because Sasha's a better heel than Paige. If you guys don't like that, whatever, but that's how I feel. I agree Sasha's a better heel than her, but I... 
<sighs> for me, I always, I, I think I said this before, I've always preferred Paige as a heel anyway. I just, the aggression standpoint comes across better for me with her versus this kind of, like, I hate when the bitch sticks her tongue out and, like, is just trying to be kind of goofy. And no, that's WWE's dick. fault. They need to let Paige be Paige, the grungy punk rock girl who don't give a fuck. We all know that's Paige, and Paige can be that in WWE. She doesn't have to be all goofy and shit like that, like how they wanted her her first time around. Just let her be fucking Paige. Paige is a fucking rock star. Like, from what she been through to how she is now, I give that girl all the props in the world. I do. Mm-hmm. I respect a strong bitch like that. I do. She came right back. Uh, well, I, I'm in, I'm enjoying her heel run right now, so we'll. But I, I mean, she's gonna turn back eventually. Like, like you said, she's too over as a character that the fans love her so much that they'll just turn right back. Yeah, just so. let her be herself. She could still be aggressive yeah. as hell in the ring, like, like she is. It's good. It's good. Good. I love when she called Mickey. She told her to shut up and called her a stupid cow. <laughs> yeah, Mickey's like, oh yeah, stupid cow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It looked like Mickey was like, I'll remember that, bitch. I'll yeah, remember like, that. Oh, bitch. I'm fucking talking later. Yeah, she really did. She took a note. And I was like, yeah. I, so th- she put out the pen and paper. I, see, if WWE was smart, you know what they would do? They would have Mickey James show up on Raw next week and be like, I want to match with Paige. Why? Because she called me a cow. And they'd be like, what? And then she'd be like, you remember that whole Piggy James crap? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it would be good. Like, But, you know, WWE, they, they rarely go back on old feuds like like little old triggers that used to piss somebody off you know what i mean like when they're all like baby faces or heels now they forget like their whole history i hate that shit yeah, they have short-term memory yeah right? like oh it's, it's, i know it's like who are you? i know it's a tv show but god like um, uh, uh, I, I did like the ending how um sasha was out in the ring and sonia and mandy were just kind of like prowling around her and i love how Sonia was like trying to really go for this girl and then Bailey clocked her and so both the girls started getting into a little brawl Sonia just drove Bailey into the barricade hard like this girl is tough can we talk about Sonia I have to say okay it's been what three weeks now that we've been seeing these girls and Sonia for me on she's just commanding all the attention She's just really damn good, and she's come a long damn way, and I'm so proud that um, that she's, like, evolved so quickly, and, like, this girl's only been contracted for, what, two years, and she's doing really well, and I love her style in the ring. It's so different, and it's she's very grounded. It, it's all, um, her background definitely comes through, and she does a good job with that. I love her mat based wrestling style yes. compared to the rest of the other women because a lot of the women now have a lot of kind of high flying maneuvers. So it's nice to kind of see a girl who's just down and like well, won't get the rough, girl off the mat and rough and hard hitting. And so I am loving some that man. knee, like, that every, running every knee. Oh. Every opportunity that she has had so far, she has taken and ran with it so mm-hmm. i'm really proud to see how far she's kind of come so far and i'm excited and i want to see one-on-one matches with these girls now i think it's about time to kind of see how they are on their own in the ring i know? think they're going to be put in a tag match okay. that will be their yeah, debut I- and we, let's talk a little bit about mandy now i like mm-hmm. mandy i think mandy's I, I think she has a lot of potential like it just pours out of her but I honestly, because, like, she came out, like, from from the minute I saw her on TV, you can see the nerves floating around her. Like, I can tell that this girl is nervous. And I'm like, girl, they threw you in. It's time to swim. Break out of your shell. Come out and give us that golden goddess bitch that you've been telling us about. Like, this is your <laughs> moment. And, like... Mm-hmm. It, what bothers me is I could I could I could watch her count her steps as she's walking down the ramps. Yeah. And I'm like, you're too robotic. You need to let it go. Let it freaking go. And then when she gets into the ring, she's always looking for somebody to give her direction before she reacts. And it's like a quick second, but she's just not on point. And, and it's, it's noticeable off TV. Yeah. But I I like her. I know what she's capable of. And I'm just. 
I know that she's just starting. Three weeks is not enough. But I'm, I know she will evolve. I know she'll get there. But she wasn't on NXT television. So I think this whole being on TV thing is what's getting her. And I just can't wait for her to just shake that all out and get her head in the game. But what are yeah, your I'm thoughts? Yeah, I'm excited too. I, th- I think she, she has a lot of potential. Yeah. I, I'm really excited to see Mandy. I've always said, I've been saying on Twitter, she's she's very polarizing every every time you see her on TV. Yeah, it's but good. She, you, you see the nerves through the girl, and I just want her to, like you said, take this opportunity because you you may not get another one. Mm-hmm. This is what they did with Eva. When Eva first came in, they loved this girl, thought she was the best thing since sliced bread from Jillian Hall. But then... <laughs> They they put her in the ring and she 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 panicked she froze and it's well they didn't to... train Eva that's and true. Mandy's that's trained and yeah, that's why that, that's that's a big that's a huge influence oh did you catch just... the tea real quick before I forget Eva Marie did an interview and she blames WWE for the reason why the fans rejected her because she says that when she was first hired she did not want to go directly on Total Diva she wanted to go train but WWE opposed of that and decided to throw her on Total Divas instead of sending her i thought that was really interesting but go on Nick. Oh, that is, oh, i know i thought it was interesting. That she, is interesting she 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 tried to fight for it and she blames them for you guys being a fucking bunch of motherfucking haters <laughs> anyways back to mandy though because she's the girl of the hour now she yeah. she's filling in that void they should have gave her the fucking a- emelina fucking gimmick that's who did she- that's, that's exactly what i was gonna say james because if this is the thing with mandy i feel like she's kind of her nerves are getting to her, so she's forgetting what her character is when she's out there. Yeah. Like, yes, she's, she's supposed to be this sexy blonde, but you can kind of amp that up a bit more. Like, make yourself very seductive. Make yourself feel... Like, remember Sable. You love Sable. Uh, remember how she would come out and just the presence, the, the male fans... It's the movement. That girl it's the yeah. way you move. It's body language. Mandy, Mandy to me... Don't take this the wrong way, the guys that love Mandy, because I love her too. She's too stuck and worried about being pretty. Nikki Bella had this issue. And I was like, Nikki, stop worrying about fucking looking good and getting in that ring. Like, it used to drive me nuts about Nikki. And she finally shook that out of her head. And she got her shit down packed. And she did that when she was the longest reigning Divas champion. That's when I was like, all right, I could fuck with Nikki Bella now. Cause she got, but Mandy's too worried about looking great on TV, and I need her to get that out of her fucking system. I think it's just because it's the the first few weeks. Yeah, we'll see. We'll I see what it. happens. I'm very interested to see what's gonna go down around Mania time with a lot of these girls. Cause I, ooh, I'll I be there. Have, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just jealous. I'm a poor man, and I can't afford to go. Um, <sighs> But yeah, anyways, I want to I want to kind of see more with her. Like, come on, girl, give us some more. Do you and feel girl. like do you feel like she's a fish thrown in water because she feels that her character doesn't really go with this? Do you think that's what she's that's what's holding her back? Cuz Sonya's all in and Paige is all in. You know what I mean? It just feels like I don't know. Maybe we're just feeding in too much. I think she needs more time for us to assess, but I feel like out of all the girls right now, I feel like yeah. Mandy's kind of coming in last. Well, that exactly, especially with all these other girls that have just been brought and it's, up. Yeah, it's of a little surprising. We're going to compare them all. Right? It's Yeah, it's a little surprising to me that she's perform, her performance is so low. And I don't think it, it's not surprising to me. I, I was a little surprised because she really impressed me on NXT when I wasn't expecting much from her. And she came yeah. out and I was like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, okay. I, all right, Miss Mandy. Okay, bitch. I know me and you had it out a couple of years ago, but whatever. <laughs> and I was like, but wow, she she, she shut me up. And I was like, yes, okay. I, I She's good. She's good. But I don't know. I Maybe I expected a lot more from her. Maybe that's what it sounds, is. It sounds very superficial, but uh, the wrestling community is like this. I feel a lot of people have a higher expectation of Mandy because of her looks, because of her beauty, because they deem her the next Trish Stratus. They I don't. For the next Trish. A lot of people do. I see it online all the time, and it kind of frustrates me because they give this girl a lot of credit, and they're standing this 
this girl, and Sonia is working her fucking. Yeah, ass that that is true. They're calling her the fucking. Um, who's the irrelevant one out of Destiny's Child? Michelle. Yeah, they keep calling her Michelle. <laughs> you know, see that that's where the issue is. It's just fans. They, they they always go for the pretty girl. It is right. what it is. Like that's typical. But that's, that's why so on this show we keep it real. <laughs> We're gonna break yeah. it all the way down. Because look at Eva Marie. You could be a pretty girl, but you can't be. You it doesn't mean you'll be successful. So no. it is what it motherfucking is. But so let's move on to um, the next match in the evening with Oscar and Alicia. Yeah, I kind of so... when Oscar came out, I kind of expected that Foxy was coming out. I did too. I was like, they're not gonna feed poor Dana to her for a third week. So Fox, I wouldn't mind. Nice new gear. I loved you her know? gear. I wouldn't mind yes. if Dana came out again because I was thinking that she should have regrouped with um, Titus O'Neil and them. You know, now she'll join right. them, and she's like, "Oh, I'm determined to beat her." She keeps going like she won't, like she's not gonna quit. And blah, blah, blah. she always gets laid out like the first second. I think it would be like a cute little thing with her and Oscar. I thought that would have been cute, yeah. or I would have liked if she would have just like ran out and attacked her during the entrance and like threw her in the ring that way and be like, "Bitch, I'll attack you from behind, and that's how I'm gonna beat you. Like I'm not even gonna give you time to get in the ring." Type thing like <laughs> that's your strategy, and then they could like go backstage and she's all beat up again, and like the uh, Titus Worldwide could be like, "Girl, come with us. We'll we'll help you." <laughs> but uh. But yeah, Foxy looked amazing. Love that. Love the gear. Had a, her little backstage interview that you love so much. I hate those talking boxes. It reminds me of drama class. Yeah. <laughs> or it reminds me of drunken nights when you talk to yourself in the mirror. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You know, like, bitch, when you're you need... popping yourself all up, like you're ready, like you know that that bitch that you don't like is going to be at that club and you're, you just like are prepping yourself and what you're going to say to her when you have a mm-hmm. moment. <laughs> You practice how you're going to throw the drink. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I just hate that. It's so stupid. Have have her do a live interview in Gorilla while her theme song is playing and then have them come out. like. Or even walk down to the ring with a mic. Yeah. Them yeah, remember yeah. when they used to do that? I remember somebody did that with Crystal Marshall and she came running out with a microphone. I forget who did that. I don't know. <laughs> the only time I remember Crystal Marshall too much is when Melina lost her match against Jillian. Oh, and beat her ass like, on the ramp. <laughs> and yeah, and like Crystal just comes sauntering down and just asking her all these questions. She just calls her a bitch and beats her ass. I loved Crystal Marshall. I wish. And, she... and that's another girl that she didn't really. What she she didn't want to do the Edge storyline. Yeah. She's so stupid. For Bobby Lashley. What an idiot. And then and look how that turned out, honey. What an idiot. All for love. She was not in love. She was in love. Well, I mean, I'd be in love with Bobby Lashley back then, too. But, I mean, not enough to ruin your career. Are anyway, you kidding me? I what? can't. Okay. <laughs> not Bobby Lashley. Ugh. I, uh, well, uh, he's got a nice body. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. I feel you wouldn't kick him out of bed if you rolled over. I, bitch, I wouldn't even open the door. How about oh. that? I wouldn't even buzz him in. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't even know where too, I lived. Too good for Bobby Lash. Too good. Too good. Okay, so, uh, on to the match. It was real quick. Foxy got a little offense in, which was nice to see. I was worried that they were just going to keep doing these, like, run at her and then the rolling arm bar. I'm like, okay. Um... So Asuka wins with Rolling Arbor. How do you feel about that, that they've changed her finisher to that? I don't think they changed it. I think they want to save her choke one for, like, big matches. Well, I think they might have changed it because of Samoa Joe's Kokita Clutch. That is true. And they're both on Raw, so... That's possible, so, but... Yeah. Hey, it is what it is. It could be fun. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But it was a fun little match. I still like the on bar. I do, too. I love the rolling armbar. Yeah. The best that ever sold that was Cameron. When Cameron went to slap her and she grabbed her hand and just rolled her over. Can we talk about Cameron real quick? How she is just doing her damn thing on that MTV show. Apparently, she's doing good. She saved herself from getting eliminated this past episode. And she cussed out Johnny Bananas. And she's... Uh, 
I, she's just doing the, the damn good thing. So shout out to Cameron. I, I love a I love a resilient bitch who always lands on her feet. So I always love those comeback stories. And same shout out to Tennille too, Emma. Yeah. I've been getting all of those bookings in 2018. She's making them checks. Getting a lot of chinkle too. Mm-hmm. Not just a check. Checks. Yes. Yeah. Get it. Get it all for her. Get it, get. So, Absolution comes out. This is the second week that they've come out at, after an Asuka match. And they just kind of circle her and just kind of watch her and stuff. And then Asuka leaves. So, they're, I do like that aspect of that, where the storyline's going, because there's a lot of open-ended kind of questions about it. Um, so, they leave. They all get in the ring. And I, we all knew Foxy was getting dragged at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so Paige, so Paige gets on the mic and is like, "I love you. You're my best friend. I won't hurt you." But I don't know about them. And then both those two girls beat the hell out of her. Um, I, I like that line. And yeah, and so and Sonia, like her running, like sliding knee. I love that. Love, love, love that running knee. Live for it. It's so. That should be one of her. Is it her signature? It yeah, it's be. her signature. That I love it. What's her finisher? The leg lock? What is it? Um, it's like a guillotine choke. Oh uh, no, she should keep the. She should make that sliding knee her finisher. That's what I think. It's very impactful. And if she could hit it any time. <laughs> uh-huh. She she should so good. And then Manny does her her running bicycle knee. I th- yeah, I like that. that. Looks good. Yeah, it looked good. It looked really good. Um, I would rather see a running bicycle kick, kind of like how Lana did it a couple times. But I don't mind the knee. I like the knee. I yeah. love me a good knee. Yeah, it's different. I, I'm here for it because she she's she's a very um. She has muscles, you know. She's a very strong girl. So oh, she is a fucking fit girl. To me, when like, she does a... it, she kind of comes at them like a cannon, like a, a little box just hits you. It looks really <laughs> good. And I it, it, and it looks impactful. So and I could see. I can't wait until she does it to other girls and watch other girls sell it. You know what I mean? So I think yeah. she's gonna do well with that. I like that, and I like her other finisher. Her other finisher is cute too. The 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 wings of what what the, the Michelle, wings of love. From yeah, Michelle McCool's the wings of love. <laughs> I hated that finisher name. I was like, come on, McCool. All of those names back then. Are you kidding me? I love the layout. The layout was my favorite. Oh, the layout was good. That I loved was... it. I but like Kelly's the K too. I like, hated that <laughs> killer Kelly. <laughs> What was Eve's finisher? She just had the moon salt. Yeah. yeah just the moon salt. They she was so dry as a face they didn't even give her a name for it. <laughs> I know. I wish she turned heel earlier in her career. It would have been a different story, let me tell you. Oh, totally. Eve would have anyway. Eve would have been the Nikki Bella. Mm. Oh. She would have. If they made shout her out to heel. her too. Speaking of all these girls, shout out to Eve. I seen on her uh her Instagram. She was just doing this like women's empowerment video mess or like a like a dve or like i don't know something i think they're gonna induct her into the hall of fame not this year soon i think they're gonna do a diva maybe the first diva search girl i think will be layla it has it should be it's only right it sounds so bad i don't see layla going are you kidding layla was the best diva search winner she was absolutely but i why wouldn't they she will (gasps) end you know what Remember when I told you guys about um, the Miz and you know what we'll save this for later because I want to talk. I gotta write that down. But go on, Nick. I'm sorry. Okay. No. We'll yeah. Just move on. So yeah. So the girls come down and beat up poor Foxy, um, and that was kind of the end of Raw. So it's kind of interesting to see where the storylines are going there. It's fun though. A lot. Of, all the girls are being utilized, so we can't really complain. Um, I yeah. Seriously. So and Paige looked great on her comeback. So. I'm excited to kind of see what's going to happen next week. But yeah, so we can move on to SmackDown. SmackDown this week, we... I actually really... I enjoyed SmackDown more than Raw this week. Oh, I feel like I enjoy it every week more. I, yeah. I love that it's only two hours. Because I look at the time and I'm like, oh, yes, two hours. Oh, so the girls should be out in like 20 minutes. Like, I live for that. Like, Raw is just yeah. too damn long. I'm over it. I'm like, I'm like hour three. I'm trying to stay up to see if there's another women's segment. That's not happening. Did you see that um, video of that little boy at Monday Night Raw who fell asleep before the main event? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, I tweeted it. I was like, this was my mood. Seriously, he was knocked out cold um, while the bar was making our entrance. First of all, how the fuck can you fall asleep in an arena like that? Though? That's crazy. <sighs> 
I three hours long, Nick. It's it's three hours long. I think it's actually four hours long. It's like five hours altogether because you're in line, you're getting all that shit. Oh yeah. And then you pay. They do they record yeah main event or whatever. Does that still come on? Yeah. That's ridiculous. (laughs) Okay, so yeah, so let's move on to SmackDown. Um. They had, so the first, like, women's sighting was backstage. They had Daniel Bryan with Carmella, Lana, Tamina, and was there anybody else? Or is it just those three? I think it was, you know, it was just those three. Yeah. So they're talking about how it's unfair that Natty gets her opportunity. Should be one of them. Um, I like how Lana is naming Tamina her Samoan soldier. So that's kind of, I like that little tagline. Um, and then cute. the Riot Squad comes in. And... I believe, like, I don't know. It's hard to remember it all. Word no, word. you don't got to go through it all. I'm All I will say is Ruby fucking stole the motherfucking show. Oh, the, hands down. The way Play that the she mic. came at Daniel Bryan, she was like, are you scared of my tattoos? Uh, are you scared that I'm not dressed like a f- lovely or fellow Bella like, Arby? Like, I loved how she did that. She fucking... I was like, oh, you're shady looking. That's an execution if you guys haven't seen one before because that bitch... Take notes, Sarah. Take Logan. notes. She needs to sit down on the road and give everybody lessons with Lana. You know? You remember when yeah, Lana... Right. <laughs> Lana cussed everybody out, but she ain't gonna come at Ruby about acting on motherfucking TV. I'm letting you guys no. know that much because Ruby slays her role. Lived for it. Oh, no pun intended. Speaking of living for it, I love Liv. I love, love, love her. her. She's just out of the box. Uh, She's unexpected. I don't know what the fuck she's going to do. She has me on my toes. She gives me Harley Quinn vibes more than Alexa Bliss ever did. Like, Alexa Bliss just did it. That Those pigtails and everybody went crazy. and was like, oh, Harley Quinn. But... this chick doesn't even need to do it, but now it looks like somebody told her to do it. <laughs> and she, somebody posted a picture said that she looked like Cynthia, not Cynthia, Angelica from the Rugrats. But I love oh Liv. God. And then you go down to Sarah Mor- um, Logan, who just dropped the motherfucking ball. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, she fucked it up. It is. There's always that one, guys. So oh, I mean, she's the Mandy. Then again, oh, damn, it's not that she's damn. I said that Mandy was under her. <laughs> That's a str- I don't know. Her and Mandy are, like, together. Uh, well, I think Mandy's one-up her. Because Sarah Logan, like, l- like, come on, girl. You've been doing this for so long. Like, I was really disappointed in her. I did one of those teeth suckings. I was like, really, girl? I don't even know what she's saying. She she didn't even know what she was saying. She stumbled on top of herself. But then again, it's live TV. It's her first time kind of promo on television, live television like that. But have you ever ate game before then? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, I like the direction of, of but her deliverance, her execution was poor. The beginning, she stumbled over her first line. I, I didn't know what she said. She's like, I'm a and then she kept going. And I was like, you know, I'm blessed, the poor girl. And it's it is really hard when you're in a group because you're it's gonna tough. be compared to hard. everyone. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> what did she say? She... <laughs> I don't remember what she said at the first. She started to say something, and she tri- like she fucked up the words. So she's like, "Well, daddy, I have to. And have you ever ate gay before, daddy? Like she was all over." <laughs> Kid. I grew up in the woods. I'm like, okay, girl. Well, clearly you didn't know how to learn how to speak English. <laughs> Stop. Listen. I, oh my God, I'm dropping things. Sorry, guys. I'm a mess. I just lost it. Uh, oh my God, that was funny. All I will say is, I'm tired of her telling me where she's from. I know. Because <laughs> I hear it when you speak. Girl, you can tell by the but. I do like the direction when she asked him if he's ever had this kind of meat because Daniel <laughs> is a vegan, you know what I mean? He, or a vegetarian, he doesn't eat meat. So I thought it was f- kind of funny <laughs> that she she would say that to him, like, like he ain't shit because you don't eat meat. I thought that was like, 
really heelish. Maybe maybe that was her direction. Like it, her it was goal. supposed to be, but she just because she said something about where he's from, Aberdeen. I think she tried to say Aberdeen, Washington, <laughs> and she said Sutton. She said Sutton, Washington, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like you know, bless our heart. Obviously, that's not her real accent, so I don't know if she was trying to thick in the accent as she was saying it. Just really, it's not her out. real accent, right? No, God no. I want to hear her real voice. I gotta look that up. Because and that's the thing. I love Sarah Logan. I've always been a really big fan of her. I love her look. I love the character. She's different from the other girls. She's that back country girl. I know so many bitches like her because I fucking grew up in the country around girls like her. So it's nice to see someone like that. But I mean, it just it was it was a miss this week. I still like her. I think that this was just a little hiccup. But like, it was sorry, funny. This was like, if this was Drag Race, I'd be like, Sarah Logan, Shantae away. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just not going to work. I still, you know, those girls that get the Shantae away, they're still beloved. So, Obviously, yeah, yeah, I, you know, it is what it is. She stumbled. Who cares? Like, big deal. She, she, remember Charlotte choked? Everybody's choked at one know, point. Oh, God, we've seen a lot of girls choke on the mic. So, yeah. it's, and she's. This is the third week too. So. Yeah, it was just more went it, hard on her. It, yeah, they went hard on her because Ruby was so fucking good. That's the issue because Ruby kills it. She fucking kills it. I, I'm like, I'm like, really, bitch? You gonna make me stand for you like this, girl? I'm tired. I'm standing for too many, bitch. I don't need another one. Come on, yo. They're just pumping out these girls, and these girls are coming out really well. I just love the unexpected. Aura of Liv Morgan. I, I I live for it. I fucking live for it. I I need I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more time to kind of see where we're going with her because it's so new. I like I, it. I, she didn't she didn't even even have a character from NXT. So this is kind of her first character. Thank God. Character. Thank God Hallelujah. they got rid of that. Uh, the yo 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 yeah. girl. Goodbye. Go 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 no no. You know, so I I, I love kinda, her. Are you, you, we haven't seen a character like Liv. Like, you can compare... I know some people are like, well, Alicia Fox is unexpected. I'm like, Alicia Fox is all over the place. Alicia That's what Fox she, doesn't know what she's going to say next during her promo, I, so... I just love... <laughs> I just love the Liv aura. I don't, I don't know what it is about her. I just... Let's, let's I, talk about another lady that I was very impressed with. Let's get into it. Because after that... So they all started screaming at each other. And the moral of the story, because because Liv said like, uh, is it that you have a preference over brunettes than blondes? Because blondes are always better. Well, except if you're Lana. And Lana's like, what did you say to me? And they they kind of got into it. So all the girls started facing. Daniel screams his head off, and he says. But that. before he did that, I liked when um, Ruby said that they're all afterthoughts, and Carmella was like, yeah. The <laughs> thought. The thought, bitch. Yeah, I love how and Carmella. She has, and she has her Miss Money in the Bank. Frankie. Frankie. I, I think that's yeah. cute. I name everything. I name my I car. My car is Fiona. My PlayStation <laughs> 4 is Monique. Uh, my <laughs> phone. I can't. I name everything. And I even name my nieces and nephews. They all have nicknames, like their possessions. <laughs> I just I just name everything. It's fun. So I thought it was cute that she named her money in the bank briefcase Frankie cuz I would have. Yeah. I would have too. And so they all get into it, Dan is screaming and he announces that all of them will be Lumberjills for um the women's championship match at Clash of Champions with Charlotte and Natty. So they're all like, "Okay, okay." And they all walk away and I'm like, "That can not solve their problem at all." Because Ruby's like, "I pinned your champion last week." Like, and so that I thought maybe that she would have been tossed into the match and kind of have that dynamic but i don't know i'm before i uh, like give my opinions on what do you think of the lumber jail match because we haven't had one in a while um very open to seeing this match because we right. like you said we haven't had one in a while and i'm really interested to see it and i and especially with the dynamics of the women right now like Especially with what happened with Natty later on. Like, I'm just curious. I'm very curious. I'm open. Oh, what about you? You're not here for it? Um, I don't know. I need more time. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I am here for Natty this week, which is a shocker for me to say. <laughs> um, 
But I finally got it because she finally executed it the way that she needed to for me. I don't agree um, with that, but I'll, I digress. Go on. So all the girls are backstage, so Natty comes back. She looks cute. I don't like the cat ears, but I get it because it's Natty. Uh, she's the kooky cat lady. I get it. So she can keep it. Um, so they're all talking. Natty's like, you know, we need to stick together. Like, we're the, we're the original SmackDown women. Like, we can't let these girls come in and take over. And we hear, <clears throat> and Natty freezes up. She turns around real quick. She's like, <gasps> Ruby, it's so great to see you. Oh, my gosh. I was just talking about how nice it has been and such welcoming you guys to the division. <laughs> just fucking putting the fake act on thick. It was so funny. You should have seen Car- – did you see Carmelo's reaction when Natty was doing all this? <laughs> no, I must have missed that. I got to go oh, back. Oh, you have to go back because as soon as she does the fake, she's like, bitch, I hate – are you fucking kidding me? Like, that kind of looks like, uh, of course, is Natty. Um, so, yeah, the girls, uh, I don't know if the girls said anything to her. I can't remember. I just remember her just trying to fake No, it she she then, walked away. They just, like, she, like she, ran off. Because yeah. she was like, oh, I want to thank you guys for coming over here. Da, 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 for blah, blah, blah. And I want to welcome you guys. And when she said thank you, I was like, really, Natty? I live for petty fake ass oh, yeah, natty like, i want to thank you for taking out becky lynch yeah it, thank you for taking out naomi last week <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's getting rid of all her problems and then she just looks around and then walks off screen and i was just like see like nick you said like she finally executed it i was like no they finally put her in the position where she can display her character and i was just like finally because her just doing it people weren't getting what what I what they what they're giving you and I kept telling you guys no she's petty she's a liar she's fake she's this she's that yeah and I was like that's why I like her like you can't trust her like blah 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 like how when Carmella ratted her out because she was talking shit about Nikki Bella to Carmella <laughs> and then acting like she's Nikki's friend and that's when I was like oh I get it I get it I get the Natty character and I'm glad that they did it again to refresh people's mind that Natty is fake she's a she's that fake bitch that you you can't stand at work she's that fake bitch in school that talks mad shit that you're like yo i know that bitch is talking shit why is she mad (laughs) fake when i see her that is natty and i I just love it i i i love the character it's never been done in wwe and natty has such a such a big name that i feel like it's good that she has a different character like that like who was the last fake phony person that we've seen in wwe as a character i can't remember one there must have been maybe like back in the 90s or something maybe irs i don't know but like not probably there's probably somebody listeners if you know just put in the comments but it's just it's to me it's fresh it's new and natty does such a good job because she's very highfalutin she talks like oh hi how are you oh oh, pass me the caviar oh oh my cat like i i like it it's just so fake so i thought it was i i feel like wherever natty goes on any roster her her character would work so i live for natty and i'm so glad nick that you finally came into the room and had a seat with us hello welcome <laughs> well she earned it this week for me it was so. just a good segment it was a great segment perhaps mm-hmm. for you natty and perhaps the other girls it was it was a fun time so then we get we get charlotte versus tamina with <laughs> Like random couple girls out there. It's like the T's, like half of the Lumberjills. I was like, why? Mm-hmm. I was really confused. Like Carmella did not need to be out there. Um, but I guess how they worked everything, they needed them because the Riot Squad came out afterwards. But can I just say, I was not a fan of this match. No, but Natty told, because this is what happened. Because Natty, backstage, Natty was like, oh, I'm going to have your back tonight. We're going to have your back. We were the welcoming committee. We need to have each other's backs. So Natty was trying to, like, rile everybody up together to protect her. And then they all went out um, for Sunday. So I think she just stuck through with them to show that she's still saving face. I'm out here with you guys. Well, it's interesting because now that I'm thinking about it, it's actually quite a 
smart character point to do this because she's trying to suck up to every woman that's going to be a lumberjill. Exactly. In hopes that they will help her and, win her. <laughs> but they ain't. They go all whoop her but ass. They're going to turn on this bitch. She's going to expect them to be all chummy chummy. And they're going to throw her back into the ring or they're all going to beat her down. Yeah. The so the reason the reasoning on why they were out there was all Natty's mind game playing around fucking with people talking shit. Okay. Da, no, da, da. I can see that now. Um, sometimes you gotta so, suspend your beliefs well, and just put the puzzles together with you at WWE because sometimes they don't directly show you. You know what I mean? When they should show you these things, they just jump right over it. What do you think of the map? Um, I felt like there was a lot of, like, it wasn't bad. I'll say that, and it wasn't I mean, like, oh my god, five star match, blah 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 blah. It was a bit messy at times, and like, it is what sloppy. it is. Yeah, it was a little sloppy. And I like, don't know, honey. and Charlotte I does think. not. Charlotte doesn't put out like bad matches. Neither does no. Tamina. So, well, well, to you, maybe you feel a different way, but to me, I feel like Tamina doesn't give out um sloppy matches like that. I just feel like they had an off night, honestly. And they haven't really had many matches against each other. So, I, I don't I know. I always find that they, they don't work well together for me. I find... And I, for me personally, I've always found Tamina sloppy in the ring. Like, mm-hmm. she's, she's, she's hard-hitting. She's... Mm-hmm. Uh, her selling is very bad to me. It's on... Like, it's below the standard of Alexa. Like, both these girls just don't bump well for me to see. And I don't know. I was just... I was not here for the match. It was just kind of painful to watch at times. I was just like, Tamina, like, come on, girl. You've been here for so long. And that's the thing. You never see bad matches with, with Charlotte. So I was just, it may have been an off night, but thankfully the Riot Squad came out. Love their Titantron, by the way. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like very Suicide Squad looking. It's And it works, and it even makes Liv pop even more. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And like, and she looks so well standing next to Ruby. Like I can see it. You know what I mean. And then when it pans, I'm still over, having a hard time with the look of the three girls together. It's Sarah who throws it off. It is because Ruby, so, Ruby and Liv look good together for me. Because Liv is all over the place with her look. Her hair is up. She has a braid with a black string wrapped in it and then she has all these bright colors on and ruby's like grungy and then you have sarah logan who is wearing leather and jeans it just she throws it off for me what are you laughing okay. at no i hear <laughs> nothing just sarah logan oh poor thing <laughs> What thing? Well, Sarah Logan got dragged. Well, okay, so the girls interrupt and they all get on the mic. I forget what they say. Yeah, I don't remember either. I forget what Sarah said. Um, something about the woods. <laughs> that, that's the thing. It's just the same promo over and over. Yeah, it was and nothing crazy. So, yeah, but then Tamina just locked the bitch right to the fucking floor. I love that. I loved how Tamina just hit her first, and it showed that. <laughs> Is she, and she was protecting Lana almost like yes. her her Samoan soldier, and I liked it. And then she retrieved. So S- S- Tamina's the first one to put a whooping on these bitches. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to you, Tamina. I, I like. I know Tamina does not like the the crowd favorite. I know like people don't like Tamina. Like what? I, don't, I, don't I like. Give, I like. But I know. I know Nick. But I know like she has a lot of haters. And I'm like, yeah. yo, who, like, who the fuck are you? Like, shut up. You're going to hate on her. You're going to put out dirt on her. Like, anybody who hates on anybody else and put them down, like, I, do you feel any better after you've done that? Like, what? did you Tamina get more money in your business. pocket after that? Like, wh- what do Tamina you get out of it? has been in this business since fucking, like, 2011, sweet peas. So, she's clearly doing something right. She is. I just, honestly, I feel like it was just an off night and Tamina has had a stop and go career like they start her and then they'll stop her so well, and she's she's not the strongest on the mic either or a ring like I said I, there's a role for Tamina but she's not the top for me no she's a, you know everybody has a role to play and I'm really happy Lana's paired with her but they need to do a bit more with that if they're going to really do the manager type thing Yeah, they need to explore more into it. I heard that the rumors were that Tamina and Charlotte were supposed to go into a program before they decided to bring up these girls. Mm. I'm happy that we have the girls, though. 
yeah, they're all doing well. I, I'm I'm loving it. Definitely, definitely into it. They're, they're all doing well. So yeah, other than that, <clears throat> that was about it for SmackDown this week for the women. Um, did you watch NXT last week? Yes. Kari Sane versus Peyton Royce. That was a good match. It was fun. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was good. I wanted it to be a little longer, but it's all right. It was still good. I think, uh, yeah, they work really well. I don't know. I'm just, I hope to see the icons work more with NXT because they haven't been brought up. I just love them. Like, Peyton's my favorite girl down there, hands down. So it's just kind of nice to see her be implemented. But I don't know. I'd like to see her in a storyline. Cause, and that's the thing, just these NXT women in storylines, I feel like their storylines are just matches, matches, I'm better than you, I want the title, okay, no, I do, well, I'll face you next week, and I beat you, and then I go, like, it's just very 2K universe mode style, and I'm not really here for it. Like, yeah. you, remember, you remember, like, Sasha going off on Bailey, Summer and Paige having it, like, Summer and Emma, like, Ooh, Charlotte what about when Tamina, th- uh, not Tamina, Naya threw Bailey through the door backstage. That was cool. Right? That was good. I'll never forget that spot. So I just want to see a little bit more storyline with the girls, especially now that Ember's champion. Um, and, then, and then all these new girls are there too. Like, I want to see these backstories, hear these girls talk on the mic backstage, girls like Bianca or Lacey or um, Dakota, you know, like, Hopefully. Hopefully soon. But tonight we have Ruby Riot versus Sonya Deville in a no disqualification match. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see that yeah. one tonight. Yeah, so it was uh, <clears throat> it was announced last week with it, so I'm pretty excited for that. Mm-hmm. So that's about it for the wrestling this week. What's what's the tea you got? Ooh, um... Oh, we're not doing Total Divas, right? Wow. Um, we can, if you want. I mean, what's there to talk about? I feel like everybody's talked about that. If it, we've it, talked about it. It came and went. Anyways, um, Chelsea from TNA. She is leaving TNA. She And she just won the championship. Spoiler alert. Mass. Um, well, by, well, they're airing it tomorrow. So, by the time you guys listen to this, she'll already be champion. So, yeah. And, apparently, the T is that um, Chelsea only asked for her release because she got wind that WWE is interested in signing her. So, yeah. So, she's been planning on leaving, and TNA didn't know that, and they put the belt on her. So, once they put the belt on her, she, like, let them know that, hey, I was not planning on resigning, and blah, blah, blah. That's the T. So, I love how she wait. Uh, no shade, but I love how she waited until after they gave her the title to tell her tell them that. I know, right? Like I was like, all right, all right, girl. At what point did you find out they were putting the belt on you? Because you already knew you were leaving. You know what right. I mean? So I don't know. That that's a, that's a, there's some more to you. I'll, I'll keep doing some digging and I'll come back if I find some more. Um, but also, hmm. I got I some more. I got some know. more, bitch. Remember when I was telling you guys about um. How the WWE Network is trying to bring on all these shows, and they want to bring the Miz and Maurice's television, or give them their own little spinoff. Well, yeah. I can confirm that Miz and Maurice are um, about to start filming their own reality show. It's not, but we don't know if it's really going to go to the network or if E's going to pick it up. Because I think WWE wants to pitch it to E as well. To bring right. it, bring it to another a bigger audience, or put it on the network. But and then I also read rumors of MTV. They might shop it to MTV since Miz just did a TV show for MTV, and oh, the one that yeah. the one that he's hosting with um, um Cameron. Cameron's on it. Well, he, well, he has a great personality and relationship with MTV, anyways. Like from when he first got started, so. And Maurice, I could see them wanting Maurice because Maurice, Maurice has her own storyline on Total Divas that she can have go from 
episode to episode to episode. She's always doing something. Maurice throws grand parties at her house. She's a real estate agent, and she's a WWE superstar. Like, Maurice has a busy-ass life, too. And her, she's married to The Miz, who works nonstop. So there's a show over there, and they're pregnant and having a baby. And I'm I'm here for it. I can't wait for their show. I hope Hormonal it's good. Hormonal Maurice is going to be great to watch. Them. Yeah, so they're definitely going to start, uh, or they probably already did start filming her pregnancy. They definitely started yeah. filming her pregnancy. See. That's for like sure. Total, probably for total deep, and so. there's more mm. in this whole little packet because it was like a whole little package of all these TV shows being pitched, and WWE was a part of it. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Total Divas, the TV show. WWE is trying to bring their own Total Diva. They're trying to turn um, the Diva Search into a reality show where they get all these girls, they put them living in a house. And they mm. get eliminated one by one to decide who's going to become the next WWE Total Women's team. Champion. Well, it's going to be... I don't know what the name is. It's working title right now. But they're trying to pitch that. And when we were talking about Layla earlier, I was like, Layla would be an amazing judge for that. An amazing yeah. judge. Because Layla has... Well, she's had a career. We talked about this. It was about last summer when there was talks of them wanting to do a do the shirt show. Yeah. show. Mm-hmm. And so we were like, they need to have a panel of judges, have Layla be up there, have Michelle be up there, and Eve be up there, and be those be the girls that are the judges. Fucking RuPaul style. Fucking. You like, know I what? I would do it better than that. I would put Ma Carano, and I would put a, a Diva Search, and a wrestler, like a trainer, like somebody like that. Oh, yes. I wouldn't put all former. No, I want people like talent, like serious people. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Serious people, but then I feel like they could do special judges each week. Yes, yes. Like former yeah, you could bring like a former. Yeah, like a Michelle McCool, a, a Maurice. You know, like these girls who's done it and have been successful. And right. I can honestly, because this is like TV shows being pitched. I can honestly see this going on E as well because WWE has such a great relationship with them and Nikki Thank Bella's you. executive producing now for the fucking network. Are it's, they going to be producing for this show? As no, well? I don't know. There was not in there. I don't think so. I don't think no. so. Yeah. No, she Nikki does her shit. Her the Bella twins. She, yeah. That's her stuff, and she's making money doing that shit. People don't sleep on Nikki Bella. She's making her own money. People try to say that, you know, John Cena buys all her bags. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Nikki got money. So, um, um, yeah, I think that's really interesting if they go on that route to do it like the reality show-based way. Really good. I think good. that'd be fun. I would, I'd love it. I'd watch it. Are you kidding? That would be a fucking hit. I'm like, yeah, th- I was like, this better be true. But then again, these are all reports. You never know what's true these days. Right. But right. it it we've heard conversations about it because us as like crazy fans, we've heard about it before. Like me and Nick were just talking about how we used to talk about. Remember, Nick it was like a couple of months ago when we heard about this, and we were mm-hmm. discussing it. On so, the dirt sheets. Yeah. Right? So now it's back again. It's in conversation again because you know it's the the end of the year. So all the the plans that the that we have planned up for next year are coming up and it's adding more material to the network and updating the network because they haven't updated the network since they fucking launched it so it's time mm-hmm. it is time so i think that's all my tea i hope i filled you i filled up all your tummies oh fuck i didn't ask the listeners for questions today i forgot oh fuck i forgot that too I did, but sorry, listeners. We'll do it. We'll do it next week. Scoozy, scoozy. I didn't even tell them I was recording. They probably don't even expect us doing a show today either. So, so... <laughs> 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 all right. Well, Nick, we've said a lot. We said a lot. Yes. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. We didn't even talk about wags. Can we talk about wags real quick? Can we save that? (laughs) Really, really quick. So Brandy is going to be on wags in January. And apparently her storyline is going to document her being overlooked in WWE and taking the ball and doing it on her own. Strong woman style. Learning how to wrestle to prove to her former employer that she can make it in this industry. That she doesn't just need to be a pretty face on a mic. So I was like, that is pretty cool. And I was like, I wish Total Divas would document shit like that. But, you know, they give us corny-ass storylines. And Kelly Kelly, 
who's on the L.A. franchise. Brandy's going to be on the Atlanta franchise because this show um, started franchising out. Kelly Kelly on the L.A. show. Apparently, Nick told us about her um, divorce on the last show. I had no idea. Well, it yeah. is true. And, to- and so the next episode that I watched... Wags is documenting it. They're literally documenting her husband um, not being supportive of her career, which is which is what led to their divorce. So that's another great storyline that they're really showing on Wags. They really show these women's real lives. And on Total Divas is really staged and conflicts gets settled in one episode. So I just wish Total Divas would open up a bit more and give us a little more. I've already talked to you guys about that shit. But I think it's really interesting that Kelly Kelly and Brandy are being so raw and real on reality TV. And I suggest you guys go support our girls. They're still our girls. They're from our world. So they're still part of the universe. So we gotta support them. So Nick, I suggest that one day when you have a weekend where you're not doing anything, you just lay it up and Mitchie's sleeping hungover or whatever, just <laughs> turn on Wags and just watch a couple of episodes and just watch Kelly Kelly's. I just want, because she's the uh, more known. Okay, I'll just skim through. Yeah, so. just watch her segment or maybe try to YouTube Kelly Kelly Wags storyline or something. It's Sorry, interesting. Your no, because if you post it, put it on YouTube, they'll just pull up all her scenes, and you walk right through everybody else. You don't even see those other bitches. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, so you'll just watch her I'll, scenes. I'll, do, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Just, it, it's not give it. Just check it out. Just see what I'm talking about before you shade her. I don't know why you hate her so much. I don't hate her. Hate is a very strong word. Why you dislike Kelly Kelly? I just, it's not Kelly in general. It's the show itself that I, I just, just... Oh, yeah, okay, I get it. You said it before. Yeah. So, I actually like Kelly. I just, I, she's a shit wrestler, but I like her. Did you I see like her this. training Tito Ortiz? Yeah, and that girl being like, I want to learn that head since they're flippy-dippy move that Kelly is <laughs> doing so I could do that in the bedroom. <laughs> she is a fake bitch. She she is the daddy, the Talia Diehard character. <laughs> That is her. Yeah, she's so (laughs) fake on that show. And Kelly Kelly got in trouble because that girl was talking shit about her two best friends and Kelly Kelly didn't defend her friends. So her friends came at her for not defending them. So the next time... When people do that. So the next time that they were all in a group setting, um, the issue came up again. And the, so the girls were asking, oh, who said that shit about me? Who said that shit? And the blonde girl, the flippy do girl, she was like, not saying anything. And Kelly Kelly called her out in front of everybody. She was like, Amber, you did say it. Just admit it. Own up to it. You said it. Get over this shit. Like She went off. And I was like, yes, Kelly. Well, we fine. all know Kelly is a little ratchet. Though. I was like, there's my girl. There she is. There's Barbie. Barbie. Get him, Barbie. So oh, she redeemed. Bill, Florida. She redeemed herself for me. So it was. It's just really interesting to watch her start. Maybe it's because I love Kelly. But anyways, it I, is. What well, it is. I will put it on my recordings, and I'll take a day to maybe take a watch of it. We'll see. You know what, bitch? Don't do that. I'm gonna find you what I want you to see, and I'll send it to you. Okay, that's so much easier. Is, is that better? Okay. Well, guys, thank you guys for listening. Um, I'll be back next week. And we'll take questions next week for sure. So, Nick, do you want to give the listeners um, your information where they could follow you at? My social security is... <laughs> um, <laughs> if you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Prince Pipe Bomb. Still same. And, yeah, I hope everybody has a fabulous couple holidays. I probably won't be on the next couple podcasts because work is just crazy this these next few weeks leading up to Christmas for me. I I covered a lot of shifts coming up. So I may not be able to come on, but I'll help with the questions. I'll be on social media. I want to kind of get like a, like a schedule kind of set for myself on like when to post. I feel it's, it's too difficult for me to post every single day. So I want to give myself certain days of the week to just kind of do my little, my postings. So I'll get that sorted. And also, I want to shout out to the listeners that have been playing with me on WWE 2K18. But I need some new hoes to drag around here. Mm. So, send me your PSNs. You guys already know how to find me on PSN. It's Jimmy Vibes. So, come on through and catch and get this work. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys next week. There was something else I wanted to say before we left. 
But oh, we're gonna be doing a top fifty women's top fifty of two thousand and seventeen. Oh, yeah. So send us in your suggestions. I want to hear who do you guys think should make the list. Who should top the list? Send us some names. Send us your list. Put it all in the comments. I really want to know. I need some help because I need to throw some names into the hat, Nick, and you do too. I do too. And you know what? Message us on our official Twitter account too at underscore real ringside. Yes. Yes, Ken. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't said that one in a while. Now, at Real Ringside, just uh, message us there. Any kind of women that you think like showed out this year from, from all promotions. Just doesn't need to be WWE. Yeah, so. everything. Okay. Well, see you guys next week. Toodaloo. All right. And bye. Bye.